All right, here's your week 44 full uh, video for everything I got today. Uh, there will be some one-minute videos on independent Marvel DC uh, covers, but uh, this is the full video. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Well, let's get started here. I saw this in the previews and had to order it. I don't know how common this cover is going to be or if anybody is really going to see it, but it's awesome. Amazing cover. So it's the Arthur Adams. I don't know if I have the rest of these or uh, just the first couple. I'm not sure, but they've been all right, but that's not a bad cover. So I'll give it a give it a read. This is an awesome cover, kind of almost like a Sienkiewicz, but it is uh, Jason, Jason Sean Alexander. That's a really cool looking cover. Uh, good for Halloween with the gals and the uh, background and the cool orange colors. It's good. Uh, this is a Hughes. So Arthur Adams and Adam Hughes. A little bit confusing sometimes, but uh, this is his cover for the Gotham War, Scorched Earth. I think it's the final issue of that. Uh, it's good. There's a lot going on in the cover. It's kind of cool. And then the foil uh, of the same issue. So I was talking about this, and I don't know what it is with the DC foils. Uh, they just are not as good as they could be. Um, they did it really well with the fire and ice foil. Uh, that's with no bag, so it's a little clearer, but they're all very dark. Um, the Fire and Ice foil, the Nakayama one, um, the outside, the art part was not foil, but the background was, and it made it stand out. So it's strange. It's a great cover. Uh, that's a um, Kendrick, uh, I, you know, Kahuna, Kahunka Lim? I'm not sure. Sorry about saying that wrong. But it's a really cool cover. Uh, then the Will Jack Supergirl special cover. And then the foil. Same thing as with the last foil. It's kind of really hard to uh, see. But I, I do like it because it's like a virgin almost cover. This, The Supergirl not so much, but the um, other one is. There's no trade dress at all on it. Still cool, though. Uh, Star Wars, I've been enjoying it. This carries on with the whole um, dark droid um, storyline. This cover for X-Men, it's cool. It's a uh, wraparound, so you get art on the back as well with everyone, which is kind of cool. Um, the thing that stood out to me the most was uh, just because I'm used to read Excalibur at the height of all this, so I have all of the different versions as, like, the whole dynamic between uh, Megan and Captain Britain. But that was a cool cover. Uh, then the Venom 27. Uh, I got two covers of this. This was a cool cover. And then uh, the regular one, the Cafu, I think it is. Ah, uh, this cover, Spider-Boy 1 is out. So, I'll ask anybody that is watching this or cares to, if you look close at this, everybody is outlined, if you can see. And I don't think it's a shadow, and I don't know what's going on. And even up in here, the way this is. So I happen to have an old pair of 3D glasses. I don't know if new ones would make any difference. But it does stand out. A little bit. I wouldn't say it's like brought forward 3D, but it is interesting. Uh, and I believe all of the outlines kind of disappear under the 3D. So check that out. I don't think it's noted anywhere if it's a 3D cover or what is going on, but it's just weird that everybody is outlined. Um, I don't know if it's part of what's going on uh, inside the book or not, but Check that out and let me know. 
And then I got the foil version, same thing, very dark. And then the uh, John Tyler Christopher uh, negative space, just awesome. Really good cover. And I think this Avengers, if I'm not mistaken, is also a wraparound, which is kind of cool. Neat on the back with everybody. So that's cool. Scarlet Witch, this is the last issue of Scarlet Witch. I'm sure it'll be back in some form. I think it's in the solicits as uh, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, which I've liked this run. So same with Doctor Strange. I don't think it's ending, but uh, I'm really liking the series. And I, I, when I did the codes this week, which a lot of them were sticking, I don't know anybody that does codes understands what I'm talking about. But uh, the art looked really good inside too. Also this week, White Widow. So this is the Lee Rex, I believe cover and then the art germ which is a awesome cover I bought two of those uh, I decided to jump into the Jeff first I don't know um, if you know you know I guess I, I don't really know I got it to give it a try um, and I uh, got it for my kids to read ultimate universe um, one, I'll check this out and see what's going on. And then uh, you can really see the difference here with this foil compared to the other ones. This one, the art really isn't foiled. It's just the background. And it looks way better. It's way more clear. You can see what's going on. It's not like uh, if you compare it to the Spider Boy one. Like, it's just so much darker. Anyway, I really like how uh, that one is done. Uh, I got two of those as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. And, you know, check, this is a longer one. Um, but there is weird stuff going on there. So check out the other one-minute uh, videos if you made it this far. They're all in playlists. Um, be nice to try to get the YouTube up. A little bit higher than it is now for subscribers you can't really monetize or get paid for anything until it's at a thousand subscribers which I'm at 17 but uh, it would be nice to see the number go up a little bit all right thanks a lot have a great day